many Android users want to root their phone. Presumably, it is to remove Google's tentacles from the phone. So to rephrase, people want Google to stop spying on their phone. So is rooting a good idea? Is it worth doing to gain some privacy? Let's dig in and find out. Now, I'm the internet privacy guy, so I'm going to look at rooting Android phones specifically as it relates to its impact on privacy. I'm not going to compare a Lineage OS, for example, with a stock Android or compare apps and skins. I'm also not going to argue for or against rooting for those who like to be geeks and want to root their phones because they can. Besides, there are always old phones you can play with. But I will focus on those of you who are interested in rooting your Android just to get rid of Google. Now, one could ask, why do this? Why not get an iOS phone instead? I'm sure part of the answer is cost, though you can solve that by getting a used iPhone. In any case, I am not suggesting that you switch from Android to iOS. As far as I'm concerned, there are hardly any privacy advantages. Both Google and Apple are spying on you on your phone. So it is a legit thought to see if there's some way to take Google out of your current phone. To repeat the question, is it useful to root your Android phone to remove Google? The answer is hell no. In case you missed the memo, Android is a Google product, so it will be extremely difficult to remove Google's web. Three reasons why rooting doesn't help. Number one, alternative Android distributions do not remove the spyware code. I will explain what the spyware code is later. Number two, you have to dump your Google account from the phone on all accounts, including the Play Store, Gmail, YouTube, and you're not going to do it. Number three, you have to stop using Google services or the Google API. Again, sit tight while I explain what this means. And I will suggest now that you watch my video on the new Librem 5 phone, which is a better solution to evading Google and Apple than rooting your phone. Let's start with reason number one, why rooting doesn't help. You have to understand that the spyware is built into your phone at the OS level, operating system level, as well as in the design of the hardware. One of the insidious tracking methods is Wi-Fi triangulation. And this is accomplished using a technique on an Android phone called Wi-Fi scanning. I have videos that explain location tracking in detail, so I'm not gonna rehash it here. But with Wi-Fi scanning, apps like Facebook can track your location even if your location permissions are off. And Google is equally tracking your location at all times, again, using the same feature. Wi-Fi scanning, which is based on a Wi-Fi feature called promiscuous mode, something known to hackers, is built into every modern day Wi-Fi chip. It is a better way of tracking locations than a GPS and more accurate, and it works indoors. It's tied to the OS. It's in the Android code. Does any OS maker specifically turn this feature off? No, because privacy isn't their objective. So unless an Android fork states clearly that they are privacy focused and are removing these types of spying code on the OS, and the firmware, then expect that they will still be there. In addition, you cannot remove certain capabilities that are built into the carrier baseband chip, which is also embedded on the phone. Thus, even if you remove them from the OS, you may not be able to control what is done on other firmware on the phone, like the baseband. Number two reason why rooting doesn't help. Are you willing to dump your Google account? Some of you are not thinking of this fully. To access Google Play, even on your rooted device, 
you need to log in to Google. This means you've just identified your device to them using your email address, name, and your credit card number. In case you think it's limited to that, once the OS figures out your Google ID, it can then match it to the device ID. All phones have a unique identifier that identifies that particular phone. This is called the IMEI. It's tied to the device based on the carrier baseband chip. That chip handles the connection with your cell carrier. Since the baseband and the OS share the same memory, this data is available to the OS. The IMEI uniquely tracks your device and now it is matched to your Google account. In fact, if you were using Android before and you changed to Lineage OS, then they can track the same IMEI number. In case you think this only affects Google Play, perhaps you forgot about the connection to the other Google products like Chrome, Gmail, YouTube, Waze, Google Earth, Google Maps, Google Drive, Google Photos, Google Assistant, on and on. Google is so pervasive that we forget our reliance on it for many things we take for granted. In fact, you can't even evade Google on an iPhone. I can't believe that people use features like Google Photos where facial recognition is being performed and Google stated that they're doing facial recognition or Google Drive where Google can read your data or think somehow that their Gmail is somewhat private or use ways knowing it knows your travel behaviors as well as where you live. So unless you're willing to dump all these apps and access to Google Play, then it's not going to help your privacy. Number three reason why rooting doesn't help. Many of us forget that Chrome is Google, or some will say that they install alternatives like the Brave browser, Firefox, and so on. The problem is that most of these browsers use Google services that perform the spying. An example is the Google Geolocation Service. To programmers, these services are called APIs, or Application Programming Interfaces. Every website can utilize these APIs and they can access data through the browsers. All browsers support all these location trackers except for Tor. And all browsers can be fingerprinted. Since many browsers are based off the Chromium browser, which is the main source of Chrome code, then all the spyware code is automatically included in all browsers, including Edge, Brave, and so on. Firefox adds the spyware code to theirs as well. They have to do it to compete with Chrome. The geolocation service is considered by many to be extremely useful since it saves you from typing your current location. But this convenience comes at the cost of constant tracking even when you're not aware of it. Even on other apps, the Google tracking of locations and fingerprinting of your device is being done using Google Ads. Google Ads is going to be embedded in many apps. In fact, even on iPhones. So, there's no escape. Forget about rooting your phone. In order to gain privacy from constant tracking, you have to change your habits, your behavior on apps, and get a phone that is insulated from the tracking by design. This is not possible with any Android or iOS phone. The hardware itself is hardwired for tracking. This is why I am checking out the Librem 5 phone because it's handling some of the issues at the hardware level. If you're interested in what I say about that, please watch the Librem 5 video. In today's world, the only other alternative is to switch to a completely different device like an old Blackberry before 2013 or look at devices that are actually privacy focused, like the Librem 5. Now how about an OS like Kai OS, which is not based on Android? You cannot root your Android with a Kai OS, but without testing the tracking capabilities of Kai OS, I have to assume that it's not safe. It is based on Firefox. And Firefox, as I already mentioned, has all the same spy capabilities as Chrome. Much of Kai OS's capabilities are enhanced by the use of Google services. And I'm certain that like all other phones, the baseband, the cell baseband, is part of the phone motherboard, so they share RAM like the other phones. And subject to the same tracking risks. 
I don't own a Kai OS device, so I'm making an assumption here, of course. But as long as a OS maker doesn't specifically make a claim to protect privacy, then you can expect that they won't care about the things I care about. It's amazing how deeply Google is tied to everything you do. Heck, you're watching this YouTube video, which is Google. So, just adjust your settings in Google Activity Controls to at least try to limit the data collected on you. And consider getting a completely different phone for the future. Is it worth it to root a phone? By all means, have fun! But have no expectations that somehow you're safer from Google because you're not. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Thank you.